Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you one of the quickest and easiest ways you can make money in Elder Scrolls Online right now. So to do this method, all you need to have is the Merkmar DLC and to have any really level of account at all. You really don't need anything other than the Merkmar DLC to do this. So the method we're going to be doing today is just going to be stealing furniture motifs from just various different houses in the area. Some skill recommendations I have for doing this is that you would have the Blade of Woe. Blade of Woe is really good because there's a uh, four people you have to kill on this route and it's really really easy if you have to blade a will where it's quite difficult to maybe sneak past some of them without it but it can be done without them or you can potentially even just skip one or two other houses so in the ledger main skill tree you want to have all the locksmithing passive because this is really going to help you when you're trying to force open doors because it stops you having to sit there and pick them and it really cuts down the time on the runs so it's a really helpful thing to have not necessary but helpful so for any of you who don't know how to get to mark mark you just go to the main map and it's right in the bottom right hand corner you'll see like it's a new little city just got released so you want to go there and you want to come to the bright fruit where i shrine because we're going to be stealing from houses in the bright fruit area uh, if you don't have this the normal mark mark where i shrine the base one is just a little tiny bit to the side for this you can just run up it's really simplistic so whenever you actually get here you just want to run across this little wooden bridge and up the top here are these little ramps and you'll see that there's going to be a little shack that's going to be the first little house that we're going to rob so there's about four or five houses on this route but the first one is right in front of us now so you want to just come through this door you don't have to force any locks for the first two three houses but it's just the last thing you gotta force locks for so you're gonna see there's a little trunk here and then there's some more little wardrobes and some more little chests around the place and like some cabinets you can steal from so every single one of these have the chance to drop you a green a blue or a purple merc mar motif so whenever you come out of this hut you just want to go to your left here and you want to run this up these little ramps and you'll see there's a secondary little hut you can go into you don't have to force lock for this one either so you just go in here and it'll be again a couple of little wardrobes, a couple of little cabinets, some trunks you can steal from, and there's also a backpack. So again, there's no one you have to kill in here, and you don't have to force any locks to get your way in, so it's, it's a pretty easy house, nice little place to loot. So whenever you come out of here, you just want to come up to your right, and there's going to be a little shack up the top of this little ramp here. So you just want to go into here, there's only three things in here right now. Uh, you can't actually loot there's not a whole lot in here but it's still worth to do so you got a little trunk up the top you've got a little trunk around the side here and you've also got a little cabinet you can loot so whenever you come out of there you just want to head straight down this little ramp and to your right and this will take you to the next cabin we're going to be going to so you're going to see there's an argonian out here you have to kill her if she uh, spawns so after you kill her with your blade of woe, you just want to force the lock and go into this little house in front of you. Now whenever you get in here, there's going to be another little Argonian, he usually has his back to you, so it's pretty easy to assassinate him using your little blade of woe. So you just want to do that. If you can't assassinate him, you don't have to blade of woe, you just got to do your best to sneak around him whenever he moves around the room. So there's a, again, there's just cabinets in here. Uh, in these houses where you have to force the locks, there can be lock boxes, so keep an eye out for those, they have some nice stuff in them as well. So after you finish slitting in there, you just want to run down into your right here and there'll be another little cabin you can see. So just before you go into the cabin, there'll be a little cabin that you can lit. So there can be motifs in here, so it's worth checking. You just want to force the lock to this little cabin here and there will be an Argonian inside. So you want to again assassinate him with your blade of woe, just like in the last one, or you want to just try and sneak past him. Uh, there can also be a lockbox in here too. So again, just like clear everything out, all the wardrobes, all the cabinets, see what you can find and then you just go back outside. So whenever you get back outside, there's a little ledge here that you can jump on, so it's kind of awkward. It's a little ledge with a box on it. It's kind of, you can choose to skip it if you want to. I choose to do it usually because I'm kind of alright doing it now. And that is the end of the rotation, so whenever you finish the rotation, you just want to sprint around up this little ramp, and it will take you back to the start of the rotation. So whenever you get back to the start, you just want to log out and log back in again. You can do it in the same character, and this will actually mean that all the little wardrobes and each of the houses will have reset. So that means you can go into another rotation and you just keep rinse and repeat this uh, over and over again until you get as many motifs as you want. And then you will have millions and millions and millions of coins and be very rich. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've got today, just from today. So you can see here that I have two of the blue actual patterns. So they sell for probably 350 to 400k right now on Xbox. I think the prices are somewhat similar on PS4 and maybe a bit lower on PC. But also I've got these two blue rugs. So these are probably sell about 50 to 80k each to just be in the rug so that's actually really good and i've also got this little uh, purple kashit one but it's not really worth too much maybe 20k but still something 
So that's what I've got for maybe an hour or two hours from rotating here. So it's really, really good money. It's like, if we added this all together, I'd probably be sitting on about 800, 900k right now worth of stuff. So that's actually really, really good for one to two hours. Probably the best money making in the game right now. If you're actually able to be lucky as me. You're not guaranteed to get a, as many motifs as me every single time you rotate, but there's a pretty good chance and the majority of people who do this will get a lot of motifs, probably at least one an hour. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful, hopefully you guys make a lot of money off this sort of rotation, and uh, if you did enjoy the video, remember to leave a like on it, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.